Are you struggling to decide whether to use expensive kiln-dried lumber for your project? Or maybe you can get away with just using rough sawn green lumber and call it a day. Well, let me tell you, there are pros and cons to both as we uncover the secrets behind each type of lumber and how they can make a difference in your next woodworking project. This video is packed full of answers to questions that our customers ask all the time. You're not going to want to miss this one. Let's go. Let's start with kiln dry. This lumber has gone through a specialized drying process where it's placed in a massive kiln to remove both free and bound moisture. Free moisture refers to the water that's in the cell lumen or as surface moisture in the wood. Think between the cells. Free moisture is easier to remove with methods like air drying. Bound moisture, on the other hand, is water held within the cell walls through hydrogen bonding. It's more difficult to remove and requires higher drying temperatures and longer drying times. The result is a wood with a consistent, low moisture content around 6 to 8 percent. Making it ultra stable and less prone to warping, twisting, or shrinking over time. In contrast, rough cut or green lumber is freshly cut timber from the sawmill. Still packed with its original, original? 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 Still packed with its original moisture levels around 25 to 30 percent. Sometimes it's higher sometimes higher. Now this is where some confusion happens. The word rough sawn is typically referred to as any lumber that comes from the sawmill that hasn't been planed. But most of the time, the old timers in the business refer to it as fresh cut green lumber instead. There is also rough sawn lumber that has been kiln dried or allowed to air dry over months or even years. But we'll focus on the fresh cut green version today. See how easy that was? Yeah. That's because you had an easy line. So why not just build with that fresh, rough sawn green lumber? It's way cheaper. Well, aside from being a literal heavy weight, that high moisture content means it's extremely prone to shrinking, cracking, twisting, all the nasty things that you don't want. As it slowly releases its moisture and gets used to the, I was, <laughs> you did the same thing. Stop it. <laughs> We're like Aquaman. choreographed? Yeah. You like, like the little choreographed dance? Dancing. As it slowly releases moisture as it gets used to the EMC. Environmental moisture content. But that's for another video. Just realize that rough sawn green lumber is not ideal for most indoor projects. But that rough, rustic look is perfect for certain applications like timber framing, posts and beams where some movement is acceptable or even desired. Sometimes many people prefer that aged, natural character. Just don't go building a kitchen using green lumber unless you're ready to watch it walk away on. On the other hand, Kiln dried lumber is the supreme choice for interior projects. Cabinetry, flooring, furniture, anything where stability, consistent dimensions, and refined appearances are a priority. The kiln drying process does add some cost. But for discerning woodworkers, it's totally worth it to avoid frustrating wood movement down the road. Now the big question, which one reigns supreme? Well, that depends on what you're building and the requirements of your project. If you need stability and want your hard work to remain in the same spot for decades, Kiln Dry can't be beaten. I lost I would have had it perfect <laughs> if you just said shut up and watch and just looked and just shut up. <laughs> uh, I was literally on a roll and then you just threw me off the track. First <laughs> All right. But if you're working on certain exterior elements, like trailer decking, birdhouses, planter boxes, or chicken coops, rough sawn lumber is where you want to go. Oh, now I'm like conscious about how I'm going to say it. Oh. Dang it. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Oh, and one pro tip. Moisture meters can be super handy. They can help spot the difference between kiln dried and fresh cut green lumber based on their wildly different moisture readings. You can also spot rough sawn lumber by its heavy weight and inconsistent color. As someone who looks at both types of lumber all the time, I can tell you that rough sawn lumber can change its coloring and appearance once it's been kiln dried. For those of you wanting to tread the middle ground, using air dried lumber could be a decent compliment. Although it won't offer the precision and consistency of kiln dried lumber. It can be a cost effective way of creating some projects that do not require it to be perfectly uniform. Especially if you live in an area that doesn't have high humidity fluctuations. 
Just expect it to look gray at first, thanks to the oxidation process. The sunlight will turn it that color. But usually planing or rigorous sanding should reveal its natural color and grain pattern underneath. Remember that these types of lumber are specific to each individual project. Keep that in mind when selecting your lumber. And all of this is just the tip of the iceberg without watching these series of videos first. It is literally our quick and easy lumber buying guide, along with tons of other content that will help you calculate board footage and navigate the lumber buying guide. So we'll see you next time on k, &J k &J Lumber. All right. The cell walls of the wood inside the cells, individual cells. Yep.